What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Tuesday, February 9th, Taco Tuesday. And the market was not looking as pretty as it did yesterday, Monday. And yeah, so didn't pay too much attention to it today because of that reason. And plus I was pretty busy with work. But, you know, it didn't seem like I missed very much because when I did look at the market, um, I mentioned yesterday that Crown Holdings has their earnings call in the after hours today. And all I seen when I came on was it was up, I think right here when I looked at it to $95. Then when I went to the gym, it was like right there at $97.99. And then when I got home from the gym, we we're right there at a hundred dollars so like i said i knew it was gonna pop after the earnings call earnings call i knew that they're gonna beat expectations easily like i said crown holdings you know they got crown royal all the other stuff but you know that's the main piece of it from what i understand and alcohol sales have been through the roof all year last year especially after covid began and all the lockdown started in march like all people did was smoke and drink and eat so that's everything that popped off and crown and all the other alcohol companies you know they didn't slow down ever since that happened if they did it was because of you know manufacturing and transportation and that kind of thing but you know everyone was buying their stuff that they did have and so crown especially during the holidays december thanksgiving christmas all the get together months of course people are going to drink it up and so I think they beat it by 18% or 15 or 18. So the estimated from Wall Street was 1.27 per share and they hit 1.5 per share. So I am a very happy camper right now. I'm expecting good things tomorrow when you know, the normal market hours begin. I mean, we're already up 727 in after hours. So I can't imagine what's going to happen tomorrow. Hopefully not a crash. You know, you know, that kind of happens nowadays. Whenever a company beats expectations, usually it goes down for whatever reason. But I'm pretty confident that Crown Holdings will have, I wouldn't say a run, but it will just shoot up in price. Maybe hit 105 if I'm lucky tomorrow. And so I got my five contracts that I got at a good average of 16.6 .6 cost per share. And yeah, so then this right now is 19.05, so I'm already up pretty good. Total return, not the best, but still at 1,225, and that's before the after hours spike, so it might go up. I don't know how much, but 5 7% of that. So I'll probably be chilling between three to four grand if it opens at at least what it's at right now at closing. So I'll be happy when I wake up, hopefully. And yeah, my break even is 96.60. Like I said, we're at 100 right now. They don't expire till January of next year, so I got a long time, even if it does end up dipping. But I'm not even sure if I will sell when it does happen or when it does go up tomorrow. If anything, I might sell later on in the week, four of them, or maybe just three. You know, gather my profits, pay off some of my costs that I did to buy it, and then. Let the rest ride, ride the wave, see what happens at the end. Maybe make a little bit more money. At that point, it's just uh, house money for me. So I'm down for that. But yeah, that was Crown Holdings. Still happy. You know, it went down 250 today for whatever reason. I don't know why people are doubting, you know, alcohol companies right now, but I would never. And so. Uh, that was a big one that I've been waiting for recently. The other one that we've been watching is Zoom, Zom, whatever you want to call it. And they went down today. I mean, it was expected. People were going to panic sell because of the news that had come out. And yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not too worried about Zom in terms of their stock price every day. It's one of those that I bought it and forgot it for the most part. Like I didn't even, you know, honestly, I didn't remember about it. Until I started to see in my portfolio, the overall money in there started going up and up and up. And I was like, you know, it's not my options that are, are boosting it up this much. So I, it was this and Doge really that really been shooting up my 
total portfolio right now. Like this one's nine grand right now. And before it was like maybe two or three grand, maybe not even a week or two ago. So just that alone, you know, shot me up big. I'm still expecting higher and higher stock price on this one in the long run. Every you know, every stock has this little run and then a, a dip, sell off, and then it just you know sets its path for the next run up. And so Zom will probably hit eight dollars here by summertime, if not before then. But again, not paying too much attention to it, just letting it do its thing. My average cost is still glitched up. Need to figure that out because I definitely paid around 0.2 to. 23 cents somewhere around there uh, per share and it's not showing up no more so I got to figure that out later on and then the only other one that's been doing decent for me dogecoin not today because I mean clearly it's not looking too good for the most part it went down one cent and it's still I mean the fact that it's still chilling at seven makes me optimistic about the overall value of it because if anything after that Super Bowl run that it had it could have just dipped on down back to the three cent four cent range but the fact that it's still holding strong around seven all day got me a little positive on it so I'm not gonna sell off on it yet like I've been saying I'm gonna hold on to it for the long run and see how it plays out for me just like a lot of other people are doing as well. One of them that I'm kind of upset about is MicroStrategy. Back in December, I was actually going to get two 2023 calls on it. And for whatever reason, I didn't do it. I really should have because I don't know if you paid attention to it, but I mean, just look at today. It went up 22%, $230 in normal trading hours. One week it did 76%, $538. One month it did 146%, $737. So if I would have bought two long-term calls, I mean, at that time, it probably would have costed maybe, depending on, you know, the price of them, close to eight to 10 grand for two, for 2023 at least. But my return, would be, I don't even know how much it would be. Honestly, it would probably be 50,000 to 100,000 already at this point in time. And, you know, you still got two years to go at that at that point. So it's like the, the profit is endless. And the fact that I missed out on that opportunity, the only reason I didn't do it was I didn't want to transform more money into Robinhood at the time. I was trying to sell off some stuff to do it, but then I never came around to selling off because if you remember during like Christmas to New Year's time, the stock market was very red. And so I didn't want to sell off at a loss. And, you know, now it came back and kicked me in the butt. But, you know, you live and you learn. We'll find the next one. That's going to be the next Tesla because this is acting like a Tesla right now in terms of how fast it's shooting up. And so that's the main, how many was that? Three? Three or four that I've been watching. Yeah, that's number four. Um... I mean, I'm not watching micro anymore. I'm just being salty and bitter about how high it's going. If anything, I might buy a put on it just to see if it comes crashing down eventually. But I mean, all this really, all the news is Bitcoin. And I think they did a lot of buying of Bitcoin. And then since Tesla started doing it, it's like a chain reaction in terms of all of these big companies starting to go into Bitcoin. Anyways, though, look at that Twitter. I don't think. I don't think anything's trending right now. Let me see what's on for me. I didn't really look at that. Day trading is trending. John Cena trending. Gay Burger. I don't even. I don't get half the stuff that trends anymore. Dogecoin's rise is leaving Bitcoin in the dust. Yesterday, that's. I don't think that's true because I think Bitcoin's hitting all time highs again. So they don't, it's not really making any sense. Day trading, AMC now below 550. Same goes for Nokia. Don't even remind me about Nokia, man. Done for the day with Neo.
Robin Hood sued by family of 20-year-old trader who died by suicide after seeing a negative 730,000 balance. I remember this happened like, yeah, last summer. It was a while back. And I guess the family's just now starting to you know, get over the mourning process and trying to get to a solution. Uh, let's see. Let me know what other penny stocks, he spelled penny wrong, you guys like for the next week or so. He didn't get no comments though, so I guess no one wants them to, wants him to know. Let's see, we'll read one more, one more. And this one. Made a quick hundred from AJ Trader 7 calls from my phone. Wish I was at home day, day trading. Alright, that was a bad one to read. That didn't mean, didn't mean anything to me. Quick cash day trading. Oh yeah, that's how we're going to end it right there. That's all I got for you guys today. Quick, easy day. Tomorrow should be better because we'll see how Crown Holding did for me. Um, again, if you got any comments or suggestions about stocks to look for, watch, leave it in the comments below. Like and share. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video.